I'm just right now the uh, the 360 camera is recording a video. Again, I'm touching down the uh, uh, the tripod, but I'm hiding myself. Just make sure that I'm not in the picture. And there is it. So at your right, you're gonna see the video result of this. So basically, I'm not in the picture. Of course, because we use AI, there's a human filming, and that sometimes kind of uh, you know, the AI doesn't know if there's a human or not in the video, but uh, you can see on our gallery, we have a gallery on our website. There's multiple and multiple uh, 3D tours that are done with the video recording process. There's no human in it. So uh, right now we're doing the bathroom and in each panoramic, I, I try to turn around to, to, to show you that the algorithm really kind of pick the, uh, the 360 view that wasn't having any human in it. So it's pretty much as fast as scanning without um, hiding. It's just that you have to run it a bit, you know, to hide yourself. So instead of taking two minutes, 40 seconds, I took like five minutes, 30 seconds to get this. And you have, you know, the blurry people in it sometimes because there's a human there all the time. So the algorithm wasn't able to, to decide, you know, which panoramic to take because there were always a human. And right now you see it working super well. It's very fast. So this is giving you a 3D tour that you can share on MLS using the 360 video uh, uh, recording. Now, this is how Video Fusion is actually born then because this is the same exact footage, but we just kind of synchronize the video. So instead of blurring people, right now the 3D tour make play the 360 video. So I can still navigate like a 3D tour like I do right now, but each time I'm stuck, I'm stopping navigating, I see the video. So this is how the video fusion is born. So it means that with the same footage then you can do a four plans, you can do a real 3D tour and you can do also... Um, um, so I, I, I need to ask for clarification. So. Yeah. Uh, First of all, it's, it's absolutely blowing me away. And if, if I actually understand what you're sh showing me, it's like, wow, well, this was a quantum leap forward in, in 3D tours and storytelling. Uh, I want to say, if you just want a floor plan, then you can r rush through without regard to whether you're in or not in the shot. If you just, if you want floor plans, and a 3D tour, not with not with people telling a story. The urban immersive 3D video fusion is the people telling the story. So if you just want a 3D tour and floor plans, you're using a continuous video on your 360 camera and making sure that as you're zipping in and out of the spaces and dropping the tripod, that you mentally are making a note to get out of the shot. And exactly. the AI is smart enough to go, oh, there's no one moving, you're, you're now in the bathroom, you put the camera in the bathroom, you close the door, there's no movement going on. I'm presuming the AI is looking for uh, an image that's a, a, a picture that's different or something. So there's, shorthand it's it's typically the movement that's triggering no, no, we're, we're, we're looking at the human if we see a human a face if we see a face we're not grabbing the panoramic so of course if there's always human that's a problem but no. like in my demo there's always somebody filming but actually it's an ai based in terms of uh human so if we see a human we try to 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 find a, a, an image during the frame that has no human yeah 